Where's he at, Leo? Where's he at? He's in the box? Is he in the box? Okay, he's in the box. Did you get yourself stuck in the box, honey? 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 Got yourself stuck in the box, didn't you? What's in the box? No, it's in the box. Honey's in the box. Get, come here, you big doofus. Get yourself well, stuck. There is. I think it's time to go back in the cage. I think we're tuckered out. We've played long enough. Yup. Yup. Say, I'm a sleepy doofus now. I'm a sleepy doofus. I'm a sleepy doofus. <laughs> oh, yeah, he wants in his cage. Oh, yeah. There you go. You hungry? Oh, he's hungry. Oh, he's thirsty. Oh. Leo, where's Maple? Where's Maple, Leo? Go find Maple. Leo, go find Maple. Go find her. Go find her. Where is she? Help me find her. Help me find Maple. Where is she? Help me find her. More than likely, she's in here somewhere. Is she under the bed? Is she under the couch? Is she in here? Where is she? Maple! Oh, he was right. Under the couch. Thanks, Leo. You can always count on that nose. <laughs> See, they never stay lost for long, because Leo can find them the minute that they go hide. He's like, oh, they're under the couch, because I can smell them. All right. That's enough cage time for Miss Maple, too. It's time, it's time to go back in the cage now. We've been out for about two and a half hours. That's a long time. Oh, my goodness, Mape. All right, here you go. All righty. So I have a lot of vintage stuff because I like really old things. And this is one of my cool vintage old things. It's a family first aid kit. I believe it is from the 50s, and it still has all of the equipment inside of it that it came with. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I have about five of these uh, vintage first aid kits. I got them all at a little antique store. They were five bucks a piece, so I bought like 20 bucks worth. I have a Boy Scout one from the 30s, and I have this one. This one's probably my favorite because it's the most intact. And, oh, the medical advice from back then is pretty, uh, pretty funny, too, so... I uh, thought you guys might think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know what's in here. I think it's smelling salts, maybe. I don't know. I haven't opened it. I wouldn't. Hey, so I bullet journal, and this is my Stephen King Dark Tower themed bullet journal. And anyone that knows the Dark Tower will recognize the Dark Tower references, so I'm not even going to explain them. Here's my weekly, and my weekly, and my weekly, and then here's my to-do list, which is covered in scotch tape so I can write over it and erase and write over it again, and then here's my memory page, and here's my other weekly, and then here's my last notes, and then here is my recipe page my recipes that week or that month I hope you guys like it okay so this is my bullet journal and this is my TV tracker for all the TV shows that I was watching back in like I think this is 2016 2015 of course I've watched all of these I just didn't color them all but I have seen them all uh, yeah I mean this was the first season of Atlanta so that's how long ago it was but these are all the shows that I was watching back then. Oh, and this was so cool. I remember I had to find her recipe, her special brownies recipe. This is actually the recipe for the brownies from the show. This is actually from the DVD box because I we own all these things on DVD because I'm old. I'm old. I have all of these things on DVD. That's why I have them all set out like this. Big Brother 19, that'll tell you when it was. Oh, The Profiler. That's such a great show. Pretender. Oh, I think I have the Nick twice. This is a video just about clean bacon. Just about Miss Clean Bacon. Now, bacon was a trapped and released feral. 
And if she turns right and you can see the little tip of her, there you go, the little tip of her tail or the tip of her ear is missing. And when we first got her, she was not too big of a fan of us. She was like, eh. See, even now she's like, okay, that's too much touching. Don't touch me quite so much. <laughs> it's okay, Bacon. It's okay. You can stay. We've had her about two years now and she's just now starting to really come around and be like, all right, people, I like you. And she puts up with me. She loves my husband. She puts up with me. Isn't that right, Miss Bacon? Isn't that right? She is very sweet, though. Such a sweet cat. And this right here, this is my dog, Leo. Now, we've had Leo for about seven years. And he came to us as a rescue because the person that had him before us had um, abused his daughter actually had shaken her to death and Leo did not like him after that and would growl and bark and anytime he went around their other kid he would get very protective of the other child and uh, growl at the dad and so this mother decided to get rid of Leo and not get rid of the man I know right she kept that lousy man that shook her baby to death over this dog but she got rid of him and she was going to put him to sleep and so we were like oh, he did nothing wrong, so we took him. We've had him for about, we've had him for about eight years now, and he is the best dog ever. He is a dingo, but in North Carolina they're illegal, so you have to say he's a Carolina dog. Ain't that nice right here? This is our sweet boy, Cinnamon. His name is Cinnamon Roll, and the reason why is he's got these little lines. And when he lays down in a circle, he actually does look. See the little lines? He actually does look like a Cinnamon Roll. He came with bacon, and he came when Haley came back from her abuser. She brought him, and you can't really see. He grew up in a hoarding house. He was always kept in a cage, and the, the ammonia from the hoarding, it took away his eyesight. So he can see, but he has really big cataracts on his eyes, so he can see, but only in, like, dark shadows and stuff. So for the most part, he's pretty blind. He is the most sweetest, most loving. He'll come up to you and nuzzle your face, like really aggressively rub against you. And he's my sweet boy. And he loves my husband the best. Oh, there's the purr. And he purrs really loud. See? Do you see what I mean about the jealousy? So jealous. I'm cute too. I'm, I'm cute too. Why aren't you recording me? I'm cute. I'm cute. It's okay, big boy. We love you too. Mm. Why are you... Mm. Cinnamon. <laughs> he, he is... His jealousy is palpable. It's palpable. He does not like that I have started to record all the other animals. He does...